On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended and participated in the exceptional Joint Arab Islamic Extraordinary Summit held in Riyadh. The summit was chaired by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to discuss the Gaza conflict and the resulting, the resulting catastrophic humanitarian situation. On behalf of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince delivered an address in which he expressed Arab countries solidarity with the Palestinian people given the dire humanitarian situation in Gaza. His Royal Highness affirmed that the escalation of the war violates international resolutions and conventions and threatens the path towards a just and comprehensive peace process. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince underscored that the international community must urgently bring forth a humanitarian truce that will lift the siege, stop the forced displacement of civilians and steer away the policy of collective punishment that risks serious repercussions both for the Palestinian people and regional security. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister called for an emergency and independent international committee to be formed to supervise the safety of the Palestinian people, impartially investigate the escalating violence, pursue the release of all prisoners and detainees on both sides and determine the extent of the damage. His Royal Highness noted that the efforts must also be focused on rebuilding what was destroyed by the conflict. His Royal Highness Prince Salman added that all parties address all outstanding issues and refocus on a comprehensive peace process that brings a new era of regional security and stability. His Royal Highness reiterated Arab nations' support for resuming a comprehensive peace process towards a two-state solution that guarantees Palestinian people's rights to an independent state based on the 1967 borders with East Jerusalem as its capital. His Royal Highness outlined that the Palestinian cause has become a beacon of legitimacy and has attracted global attention to mobilize international efforts towards an urgent agreement that paves the way for a two-state solution. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince concluded by expressing his gratitude and appreciation to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, its leadership, and for its sincere efforts and unwavering support for the Palestinian cause and regional peace. Several leaders from Arab and Islamic countries also attended the emergency summit. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met with His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. The meeting took place on the sidelines of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's visit to Riyadh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness led the Kingdom of Bahrain's delegation on behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and in response to the invitation extended to His Majesty by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to the exceptional Joint Arab Islamic Extraordinary Summit held to address developments in the Gaza Strip. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister highlighted Jordan's role in supporting Arab and Islamic nations affairs, particularly the Palestinian cause, and strengthening efforts along allied countries to enhance regional peace and global security. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister extended the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein, wishing further progress and prosperity for Jordan and its citizens. In response, His Majesty the King of Jordan conveyed his greetings to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. During the meeting, regional and international issues as well as developments in the Gaza Strip were discussed. His Royal Highness emphasized that adhering to a just and comprehensive peace process based on a two-state solution and in line with the Arab Peace Initiative is the only option for protecting and realizing the legitimate right of the Palestinian people to an independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad stressed the importance of halting the violence and committing to a ceasefire for a humanitarian truce, the protection of civilians' lives, the release of hostages and detainees, and the opening of urgent, unhindered humanitarian corridors to deliver aid and assistance into the Gaza Strip. His Royal Highness noted the depth of historical ties between Bahrain and Jordan, the advancement of joint cooperation across various fields, and their bilateral commitment to strengthening collaboration to achieve common aspirations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met with the President of the State of Palestine, Mahmoud Abbas. The meeting took place on the sidelines of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's visit to Riyadh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness held, led the Kingdom of Bahrain's delegation on behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and in response to the invitation extended to His Majesty by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, to the exceptional Joint Arab Islamic Extraordinary Summit held to address developments in the Gaza Strip. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister underscored the Kingdom of Bahrain's firm stance, reinforced by the unwavering support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in supporting a two-state solution and upholding the Palestinian people's rights to an independent state based on the borders of 4th June 1967 with East Jerusalem as its capital in accordance with the United Nations resolutions. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince extended greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to a President of Palestine. In return, the President of Palestine conveyed his greetings to His Majesty the King. The latest developments in the Gaza Strip were reviewed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister stressed the importance of a ceasefire for a humanitarian truce, the protection of civilian lives, the release of hostages and detainees, and the necessity of opening urgent, unhindered humanitarian corridors to deliver aid and assistance into the Gaza Strip. Furthermore, His Royal Highness underscored the Kingdom of Bahrain's irrevocable opposition to the forced displacement of Palestinians in Gaza from their land. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad underlined the importance of reinforcing unified efforts to prevent escalation and halt violence that threatens regional security and stability. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister added that adherence to a just and comprehensive peace based on a two-state solution is the only option to protect and fulfill the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in the presence of the invitation received by His Majesty from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, today departed the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to the Kingdom of Bahrain. After leading the Kingdom of Bahrain's delegation at the exceptional Joint Arab Islamic Extraordinary Summit held in Riyadh, which focused on developments in the Gaza strip. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, opened the Joint Arab Islamic Extraordinary Summit with a speech in which he affirmed the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's condemnation and categorical rejection of the war to which people in Palestine are exposed. 
The Saudi Crown Prince renewed the demand for an immediate ceasefire of, uh, of uh, military operations and the provision of urgent humanitarian corridors to relieve uh, civilian sufferings and enable international organizations to perform their duties. His Royal Highness called at the same time for a coordinated collective effort to take effect action to confront this unfortunate situation. He pointed to the double standards in applying the international humanitarian law, condemning the international community's silence towards the violations against the Palestinian civilians. The Saudi Crown Prince reiterated calls for an immediate end to the military aggression in Gaza and the release of hostages to save lives. The Emir of the State of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, stressed in his speech that the international community failed to shoulder its humanitarian, moral and legal responsibilities to protect innocent civilians in the Gaza Strip. The Emir said that the scenes of killing, destruction and indiscriminate bombing that Gaza was subjected to did not move the conscience of countries that claim to protect international law and world order. Sheikh Tamim also questioned how the bombardment of hospitals is justified as a military target under the false allegation of tunnels and military installations underneath the complex. He criticized the international world for remaining immune to these atrocities. The Jordanian monarch King Abdullah II delivered a speech at the summit in which he stressed that the only way to achieve peace and security in the region is to establish an independent Palestinian state along the borders of June 4, 1967. The Jordanian king stressed that the military and security situations adopted by Israel pose a threat to the security of the region and will not provide security for Israel. He emphasized that the UN General Assembly's resolution on Gaza is a triumph for humanitarian values and global consensus against the war. King Abdullah urged building on this resolution and the first step to work towards forming a political alliance to immediately stop the world displacement and commence a genuine peace process in the Middle East. He stated that Jordan will continue its duty of sending humanitarian aid to the Palestinian people through all possible means. For his part, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi stressed that his country has sought since the first day of the war to stop it and avoid the dangerous escalation that has acclaimed the lives of thousands of innocent civilians. The Egyptian president called for an immediate halt to the war, stressing that it cannot be justified as self-defense. SCC called on the international community to take a serious stand against the massacres in the Gaza Strip, emphasizing that the harsh time experienced by Palestinians is the uh, difficult for nations with living consciences. The Egyptian leader emphasized that the continuation of the war threatens to expand the confrontation in the region, demanding influential international powers to address the root causes of the conflict and to give uh, justice uh, to uh, the rightful owners allowing the region to live in peace. The President of the State of Palestine, Mahmoud Abbas, called upon the United Nations Security Council to fulfill its responsibilities and put an end to the ruthless Israeli aggression against the Palestinian people. During a speech he delivered at the summit, Abbas said that the Palestinian people are subjected to the most horrific, brutal aggression and genocidal war that crossed all red lines in the Gaza Strip. The Palestinian president said that what is happening in Gaza is accompanied by continuous attacks carried out by the Israeli army and settlers on the West Bank and Jerusalem. He accused Israeli authorities of undermining the two-state solution, replacing it with intensified settlement activities, policies of annexation and ethnic cleansing in the West Bank and Jerusalem, and the blockade of Gaza and violations of the historical and legal status of Islam make Christian sanctities.
state of Kuwait, uh, Crown Prince His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah called on the UN Security Council to assume its responsibilities to stop the war and ensure the delivery of urgent humanitarian aid to the people of the Gaza Strip. His Highness Sheikh Mish'al at the same time welcomed the UN General Assembly's decision to call for a humanitarian truce a reflective of the magnitude of the crisis in Gaza. The Kuwaiti Crown Prince said that the ongoing war and the Israeli occupation is leading to unjustified collective punishment enveloped in dual standards going to counter to all relevant international and humanitarian resolutions. His Highness trust that the state of Kuwait is all for a sustainable peace in the region starting with a final and just solution for the Palestinian cause according to the Arab Peace Initiative and relevant international references reiterating that the cause will always be a priority to Kuwaiti's foreign policy. For his part, Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abulghit, stressed the importance of preserving the lives of civilians and sparing them from violence while emphasizing the Arab and international rejection of any displacement of Palestinians from Gaza, the West Bank or East Jerusalem. Abu al said that all Arab countries, in addition to the Arab League, have made strenuous efforts with active countries and international organizations to stop the war since its beginning. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and in response to the invitation extended to His Majesty by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa departed yesterday for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to lead the Kingdom of Bahrain's delegation at the extraordinary session of the Council of the League of Arab States at the summit level and the extraordinary Islamic Summit Conference. His Royal Highness was accompanied by an official delegation including the Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Labor Jamil bin Muhammad Ali Hamidan, the Minister of Legal Affairs Yusuf bin Abdul Hussein Khalaf, and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs Ahmed bin Faisal Al Malki, along with other senior officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa arrived in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia yesterday to lead Bahrain's delegation at the extraordinary session of the Council of the League of Arab States at the summit level and the extraordinary Islamic Summit Conference both held in Riyadh. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince was received by the Governor of Riyadh province, His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Bandar bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Deputy Governor of the Riyadh province, His Royal Highness Prince Muhammad bin Abdul Rahman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Director General of the General Administration for the European Countries at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Saad bin Mansour bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Ambassador of Bahrain to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Ali bin Abdul Rahman bin Ali Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials. His Royal Highness made a statement in which he extended gratitude to the custodian of the two holy mosques and to the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, for hosting the extraordinary session of the Council of the League of Arab States at the summit level and the extraordinary Islamic Summit Conference. The conferences are being held amid development in the Gaza Strip, which have unprecedented repercussions for the region and the entire world. It requires intensified and unified Arab and Islamic efforts. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince commended Saudi Arabia's pivotal role in safeguarding and advocating Arab issues, particularly the Palestinian cause and its advancing peace efforts in the region. His Royal Highness expressed his pride in the history of Bahrain-Saudi relations and emphasized Bahrain's commitment to strengthening bilateral ties to achieve common aspirations and mutual interest for the people of the two king kingdoms. Furthermore, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad expressed his gratitude for Saudi Arabia's efforts in strengthening international cooperation and unifying efforts to achieve regional and global security. In this regard, His Royal Highness affirmed Bahrain's continued support for efforts aimed at a furthering global development and prosperity and wished Saudi Arabia success in hosting the summits. In the presence of Deputy President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Committee Vice Chairman and Member of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the fourth race meeting of the season at the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Race Track in Rafa in Sakhir. The race, uh, which was held for the Cups of the late Abdullah Ahmed Nas, a Gulf City Cleaning and Applied Science University, was attended by a number of their highnesses, representatives of the race sponsors and horse racing fans. The event uh, comprised of uh, nine races. Trophies were presented to the winners at the end of the event. The Sunni Endowments Department, in coordination with the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, organized the periodic meeting with the eminent preachers of the mosques of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The meeting, which comes under the directives of a chairman of the Sunni Endowment Council, Sheikh Dr. Rashid bin Mohammed Al Hajri, is part of the plan for mosque preachers in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The chairman of the Sunni Endowments Council presented souvenirs to imams of the Grand Mosque in Mecca and member of the Council of Senior Scholars in Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Dr. Bender bin Abdul Aziz Belayla and Sheikh Mohammed bin Osama Al Khayyat. The chairman of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, participated in the sixth session of the Paris Peace Forum. The forum is devoted to discussing challenges related to protecting the planet and people, digital security, accelerating the achievements of sustainable development goals, establishing peace and building a safer world. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah emphasized Bahrain's commitment to strengthening partnerships for sustainable development and international stability, promoting coexistence, dialogue and understanding. He underlined the importance of joining efforts to protect humanity's future by developing comprehensive solutions to common challenges and rejecting violence and hatred. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah emphasized the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence role in promoting tolerance and understanding in line with the approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He affirmed the need to adopt an international agreement to criminalize religious sectarian and racist hate speech and prevent abuse of freedom and media platforms to spread intolerance, extremism and terrorism. The chairman expressed concern over the ongoing deterioration of the humanitarian situation in the Gaza Strip in light of the suffering of civilians and the destruction of infrastructure, emphasizing the importance of investing in peace for security and prosperity.
Political Affairs Under Secretary at the Foreign Affairs Ministry, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, held a meeting with the Canadian Minister of International Development, Ahmed Hussein, on the sidelines of their participation in the sixth session of the Paris Peace Forum, devoted to discussing challenges related to protecting the planet and people, digital security, accelerating the achievement of sustainable development goals, establishing peace, and building a safer world. The two sides reviewed the Bahraini-Canadian political and economic cooperation relations, as well as ways to enhance them in a way that achieves the common interests of both countries and their people. Chief Executive Officer of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Dr. Nasser Ali Qaidi, participated in the Global Travel Hall of Fame event, which was held by the Jacob Media Group in participation with the World Travel and Tourism Council. In a speech, Dr. Qaidi stressed that the tourism sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain continues to achieve a series of successes due to the distinctive tourism experiences it provides, which contributed to increasing the number of tourists during the past year, which aims to achieve the ambitious goals of the Kingdom of Bahrain's tourism strategy for the years 2022 to 2026. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority BTEA announced plans to expand its tourism horizons with China by launching direct flights between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Shanghai and Guangzhou in January 2024. CEO of BTEA Dr. Nasser Ghaidi said that the plan to link Bahrain with China via Gulf Air is expected to boost economic growth and strengthen connectivity with the world's second largest economy as well as attracting large Chinese tourists. The delegation of the parliamentary division headed by Ahmed Sabah Salloum concluded its participation in the meeting of the Permanent Committee for Political Affairs of the Asian Parliamentary Association, which was held in the Iraqi capital Baghdad, where the final statement on Palestine was issued. In its final statement, the committee recommended establishing a fund for the reconstruction of Palestinian cities that were destroyed by Israel, the necessity of a ceasefire and all forms of aggression against the Gaza Strip, lifting the siege and delivering relief aid and calling on the international community to adopt unified standards in dealing with similar issues. The Education Ministry participated in the 42nd session of the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization's General Conference held at a UNESCO headquarters in Paris with the participation of 194 member states. The ministry expressed the Kingdom's pride in its long-standing constructive and fruitful partnership with UNESCO, especially in the field of education, which consolidated the role of UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for the use of information and communication technologies in education.